。如何将创意变为资产？再让资产升值，这些都是亚洲知识产权营商论坛深入探讨的议题。论坛今年来到第三届，邀请到中国国家知识产权局局长田立普出席。他指出，保护和促进知识产权的应用，是内地转变经济方式、提升创新能力的关键。保护不是目的，而是手段。最重要的目的呢，是在于知识产权的应用，知识产权的商用化。在日前，中央政府发布了关于全面深化改革的一个重要决定。这个文件里呢，首次提出要加强知识产权的运用和创造。商界领袖齐聚香港，以亲身经历解释将知识产权纳入商业策略的重要性。比如，联想和华为等公司的代表就分享了知识产权如何保障他们的品牌。有学者表示，当中国经济进一步由制造业转往知识型经济时，保护知识产权就变得尤为重要。碳足金研究会产生一些，呃，未来的颠覆性技术，因此呢，有效的保护这些成果，把它转化成生产力，是一个非常重要的，呃，学校的一个一个职能。我们下一段更关注的应该是中国知识产权或者专利的质量，这是很重要。没有质量的专利是很难交易的。香港特区政府一如既往鼎力支持亚洲知识产权营商论坛，今年更首次成为活动的主办机构之一。此举希望巩固香港作为知识产权交易的枢纽地位。There is a level of trust in the system in Hong Kong, which is a very good starting point. If the extension is made from the core rule of law you have today to cover that area, and preferentially being able to then extend that also, of course, into the mainland. I think that would be an incredible win. 而在论坛举行前夕，香港也与加拿大、英国和马来西亚等地签署战略合作备忘录，加强交流和合作。贸发局同时推出亚洲知识产权交易平台，平台集合了近二十个国家和地区，超过两万项可供交易的知识产权资料，涵盖专利、版权、商标等范畴。至于有份赞助经济论坛的知识产权战略公司宇东集团，则认为香港在知识产权交易上拥有极大优势。Sponsoring BIP Asia, we find it as a good way to come in touch with a lot of different technologies and entrepreneurs that come. We also get to mingle with other IP professionals. It's a small community, and we're trying to grow it, and this is one great way to do that. 论坛期间也进行了多场分组专题讨论，协助业内人士了解如何保障企业的知识产权。专题研讨的题材广泛，针对服装和中医药等行业，讨论怎样善用知识产权拓展业务。今届亚洲知识产权营商论坛的参加者超过一千七百位，他们来自二十四个国家和地区。带领代表团参与活动的泰国官员就表示，香港有助于当地企业开拓市场。For post production,、uh, for animation. Is、uh, many company now、uh, doing it in Thailand? You see, so skill-wise and technical-wise, we have it, but we just couldn't get out to the to the market. You see, this is where Hong Kong can come in. More and more countries are are looking at、uh, using IP as their development tools.、Uh, so therefore, you need to strategize it. You know, you're no longer using it as a technology protection, no more. 论坛期间的商贸配对服务也协助企业进行知识产权交易